when a certain thought arises. The Long Ride. Survival Difficulty, Class 1. Safe. Secure. Reality. Home. Home. You wake up from seemingly close death. You notice that you're in the back of an ambulance, wearing an oxygen mask, laying down strapped on a stretcher. An ear-splitting siren can constantly be heard, and the room you're in shakes as the ambulance quickly rushes you, presumably, to the hospital. The light is dim, and waiting is your only option. You hear a voice behind you. It's the paramedic. She tends to your injuries and inquires about your journey. Though, you cannot move or speak. Whatever injury you suffered, it must have paralyzed you. You think to yourself, it's over, you've done it. You are finally in home. Level traversing back in the back rooms was just all an illusion or a dream. You remember something killed you. Or perhaps you fell unconscious. Anyhow, it wasn't real, thus it doesn't matter anymore. After a seemingly long ride, the ambulance halts, and with it, the ear-splitting sirens. The back of the ambulance opens, the paramedic pulls you out, and you see the sky for the first time in who knows how long. You get instantly hit with waves of relief, knowing that you are home once again. Doubt. Survival difficulty. Class 1. Safe. Secure. Reality. The hospital. Reality. The paramedic takes the stretcher you're in and rolls you out of the ambulance to the hospital. The normal-looking wooden floors, fancy lighting, and automatic sliding doors hits you with another wave of relief. You calm yourself down, but the calmness doesn't last for long, as you notice something amiss. The entire hospital seems empty. No patients, no doctors, no receptionists, not even chatter in the background. You try to avoid and relax, but this thought disturbs you. Meanwhile, the paramedic is rushing you in, avoiding stray objects on the ground blocking the stretcher's path. She brings you through a door that says, Authorized Personnel Only. Within the hospital hallway, you still cannot see anyone but the paramedic, which only makes you more skeptical. Suddenly, the lights go off. It is at this time you grimace with horror. You used to refuse it at first, but are you truly in reality? The hallway grows darker, with you expecting something awful to occur. The paramedic notices and assures you that blackouts routinely happen in the hospital, and there is nothing to worry about. The lights subsequently activate back on, which slightly calms you down. Howbeit, you feel a heavy pang of anxiety. Are you in the real world or not? Your brain starts to jump to conclusions, wondering which to believe. Is this real or not? The landscape feels too much like the real world to be a backroom's level. Along with the paramedic constantly claiming that you are home, you'd believe that this is the real world. However, at the same time, an eerie feeling still consumes you. If this is truly the real world, and not a backroom's level, there's clearly something wrong. Acceptance of Fate Truly not home. The hallway appears to be endless. The paramedic has been pushing you for eternity. You manage to catch a glimpse of the hallway ahead of you, and you see a black abyss appearing to light up when you get closer to it. The paramedic continues to repeat the same assurances that you are back in the real world. However, you don't believe it. You finally accept your fate. Realization Survival Difficulty Class Exclamation Exceedingly Unsafe Unsecure Not Reality Death your stretcher stops rolling, and you are able to feel the floor with your feet. You notice that you are able to move again. A loud alarm bursts your ears, red lights flash spontaneously, and a bright exit sign flashes red ahead of you. The paramedic reveals herself to be a false human. You look behind. Hounds, skin stealers, and other facelings appear and start chasing you. 
You try to run, but it's too late. You trip on the floor, and you meet your demise. It was all a deliberate trick by the back rooms itself. You were never at home after all. You were an entity hell. This time, dying won't put you back in an ambulance. Colonies and outposts. There are no colonies here. The hospital is completely empty, and you have no choice but to flee. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Falling unconscious or dying in any level has a small chance to bring you here instead. Exits. Once you realize you're not in reality after all, you have the rest of your life to accept it.